pussy calls me. And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastical, that's what the hoes call me. Mazuma TV and I'm back with some more fighting news. Alright guys, y'all watched that video. That had went extremely viral on all social media platforms and that was Andre Durrell's uncle slash coach. Um, I'm not really sure of his name. If you guys know his name, feel free to drop it in the comments. But he's infamous for this. Durrell's opponent, you know. Andre Durrell's opponent, if you watch the fight, you will see that he landed an extra shot after the bell rung. Andre Durrell uh, fell over. And uh, they DQ'd this fighter, you know what I'm saying? And um, apparently that wasn't enough. <laughs> that wasn't enough of a punishment. You know, a loss wasn't that much of a punishment, according to Andre Durrell's uncle. And he showed it through his actions as he's landed a devastating left hook. <laughs> Beautiful Tito Trinidad-type left hook. Caught him clean on the chin. Shout out to the fighter, man. He took that shit pretty well, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, you could tell it definitely stunned him, but he, he he didn't fall. You know he didn't fall. You know he didn't catch noodle legs. His nut, his knees ain't buckle. But uh, <laughs> man, the uncle got a hell of a punch on him. Man, he tried to throw a straight right too. Man, that land if that right hand would have landed. It might have been lights out like James Tony out this motherfucker. But <laughs> but anyway, man. Um, shout out to James Tony. Uh. <laughs> Oh, man, this is funny, but in all seriousness, though, this was definitely cowardly. And uh, he, he's been on the run for a long time, but according to the boxing scene, he's going to turn himself in, according to Andre Durrell's uh, uncle's attorney. He's going to be turning himself in. And this was uh, assault in its purest form, and um, that was definitely unprofessional. And as is somebody who was, cert who was a certified trainer, uh, for USA Boxing, that was completely unnecessary, unprofessional, and cowardly, like I stated before. And he should be dealt with accordingly, man, to the fullest extent of the law. Um, I don't feel bad for this dude at all. If he would have turned himself in immediately, and uh, I would have completely understood. But this guy's been on the run for I don't know how long. I think a couple weeks already. And um, hopefully this man gets dealt with in the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because he definitely, definitely... Um, can't just get away with this. This is something that should be taken serious, and hopefully this shit won't ever happen again. Cause we are a part of a uh, sanctioned violence, but this this extra shit, um, punching on fighters when they're not expecting it, that's completely unnecessary. Hopefully he gets dealt with accordingly. Let me know what y'all guys think about this shit right here, man. Subscribe to your boy Mizuma TV. Leave y'all thoughts below, and I'm out.